Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinager and we are playing some Xenosaga episode 3. Last episode of Xenosaga. Last game of the three. Here we go. Point of no return. Time to make a complete ass out of the final boss because Erde Kaiser Sigma. This is gonna end well. And, and yet this is pre this is pre-rendered. <laughs> Again, I don't know why some of them are pre-rendered and some of them aren't. Look at that! Over there! That's that's Abel! Uh-oh! He's inside Joshua. <laughs> Just summoned our ESs. Our ESs. Impossible. How'd he transfer them? Um he created I had a them? feeling it wouldn't be a good idea to leave them in your hands any longer. They all appear to have awakened, so I'll go ahead and retrieve them from you. You don't mind, do you, Yeshua? Chaos. <laughs> chaos. Poor chaos. Welp! <laughs> Chaos is like, bro, you totally stole my power. Rude. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. For a second, I was like, did it freeze? <laughs> what is that? What the hell is that? It's Zarathustra, bat. That thing. That's Zarathustra? Yep, and it looks just like the order of. Um, the compass of order and chaos that's been sitting on Wilhelm's desk all three games. Xion, your will is even stronger than I expected. You are truly worthy of being the maiden. Nah, she ain't. She little bitch. Now I will make use of that power. Rude. Please wait. Xion is still. I told you to stand down, Kevin. Cosmos failed. And you lost Telos as well. Even the maiden with the key has left you. Acknowledge the truth. You were unable to fulfill your role. Your Wilhelm? What is Vector CEO doing here? He's a little bit more than that, Ziggy. That is one of the phrases that defines me. However, Words give people many forms. Vector's CEO, Head of Hyams, Ormus Patriarch, the Federation Executive Committee Director. All of those are nothing more than phrases that define me. He's literally like the head of everything. <laughs> they each define me, yet none of them are me. So far, the only one who can define me is you, Yeshua. Chaos. Now, Shion, I'd like to start Zarathustra with the key you hold. I have no intention of doing that. I expected you to say that. You foolishly chose your death over restoring your time with Kevin. Not really restoring her time with him. The preciousness of limited life. The beauty of death. You're intoxicated by that narcissism. I mean, she is a narcissist, but... <laughs> It's such an incredibly human choice. Okay, that's not entirely true. Kevin's the narcissist here, let's be honest. <laughs> but unfortunately, your life doesn't matter to me at this point. All I need is your power as the maiden, the key, and Mary. Um, don't you need her life for that, Are bro? Are you perhaps bewildered? Zarathustra is one of the systems created by people in ancient times. It was used to ascend to the realm of God. It was orchestrated by Mary, and its power source was you. Right, Yeshua? Yep. But it didn't turn out the way they expected. God did not permit mankind's actions. So in order to prevent the destruction of the universe, I bestowed upon it a certain robe. That's right, Yeshua. The destruction you will bring. Mary and Chaos made the thing. Wilhelm went, hmm, I like what you're doing. 
Let me just tweak it. Chaos? Who are you? Jesus! Literally. <laughs> Everything that makes up this universe is connected by the collective subconscious. Chaos is Jesus. Cosmos is Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene was the partner of Jesus. Cosmos is Chaos's girlfriend. <laughs> Confirmed. We doing everything from nothing by acting upon that collective subconscious and sending everything into the flow of imaginary time. Yeah, he's setting everything all the way back to like the Big Bang, essentially. And then this is the role I gave to the Eternal Circle, Zarathustra. Udu is God himself. The two Abels exist as Udu's observational terminals for this lower domain. In order to assure the continuation of our world, we must seal them away. We will cover the eyes of God, remove his influence from this world, and affect the recurrence of wills through Zarathustra. And that is precisely the reason why I exist. Xion, you are the maiden. When you use your key, Mary can lead the wills from throughout the entire universe to Zarathustra. You're wasting your time. I have no intention of activating a system like this. Besides, mankind doesn't want that. We're all fighting to live this moment. Are you sure? Large numbers of wills have already gathered here on their own. They all reject the world as it is now and wish for days long past. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> that can't be. There's no way everyone will reject the universe. The Gnosis. Mmm, the Gnosis, yep. Yes. Gnosis are the form of people who have rejected others and the world. They seek salvation. Faced with being overcome with loneliness and fading away. Which is why, as explained in the very first Xenosaga game by Junior, when Gnosis are destroyed, they turn into a pillar of sodium chloride, a pillar of salt, which is another reference to the Christian Bible. They choose instead to return everything to the beginning. Mary and I shall give them what they seek. The eternal recurrence. Are you ready to help now? You must be joking. No, I'll never do what you say. I see. That's too bad. For I am not as kind as Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's not kind. <laughs> this is gonna end well. Shion! Cosmos isn't doing anything yet. I mean, that's her bestie right there. He's torturing her into submission, or trying to. I told you. I have no interest in what happens to her, and I don't care. I only need her desire to use the key, even if I have to force her. <laughs> that is... the reason why she is here. Okay. <laughs> See, I never really understood why it has Stubborn, to be aren't we? how long can you stand it i never understood why exactly it has to be Shion who uses it who you who puts the key in the thing like kevin had the key kevin gave the key to Shion. if the key was that important why do you keep the fucking key <laughs> Does she though? Chief! What?
Hello, Kevin. I... It's all right, Shion. Time for Kevin to have his heel face turn, or his a face heel turn. Help me. Please. Kevin. Help me. Well. <laughs> yeah, they would have thought that, that Wilhelm would have, like, seen him go, come behind like that. <laughs> Just let it happen. <gasps> Kevin! Kevin, are you satisfied now? <gasps> Why act surprised? Everything has occurred as expected, including your act of betrayal. Well, <laughs> you knew? Of course. What you seek is not order for the universe, but only for your own personal desire. Because he's a fucking narcissist! An eternal world for the two people in love. That's right. I have no attachment to this world. But I cannot lose Xion! For love? Ridiculous. That has no value. I... Bye, Kevin! <laughs> Because Wilhelm made him, he's now unmaking him. <laughs> well, aren't you happy you'll be able to feel her pain, Kevin? Now, she, have you changed your mind? Now he's torturing both of them. <laughs> Wilhelm is the worst. Honestly, stubborn, aren't you? Then how about this, Mary? Bring she on here. What's wrong? Xion will continue to suffer eternally, not permitted to die. You're the only one who can release her from her pain. Okay, of all people who probably shouldn't be under the control of keeping the rest of them down against the ground like that, you'd think that Chaos would be able to stand up if, sh if Cosmos can. <laughs> I mean, I know that like 99% of Chaos's Jesus power got ripped out of him thousands of years ago to be put into the vessels of Anima, but still. Are you sure, Mary? You don't want to lose Shion, do you? God, you're such a fuckwad, Wilhelm. Shion. Well, that's right. Cause Mrs. Evil. <laughs> you can't defy me. This fate has been destined right from the time you sealed Anima. How does it feel to be betrayed by someone you once trusted, Xion? In order to save you, Mary intends to ignore your will and activate. Zarathustra. See, it's like, why does he need Shion if he could so easily just order Mary no. to do it? <laughs> Very good. You have done well. With this, we will be able to live forever. Cosmos. Or not! <laughs> what are you doing? She broke Mary. the key! <laughs> you fool. Now this universe will be completely destroyed. Even Yeshua will perish. Her boyfriend. Mary, is this what you really want? Wait for it. Red Eye is back! <laughs> I am Cosmos. 
God, I love this game. This is gonna end poorly for Kevin. Cutscenes for days. Like, Kevin, he he literally made you. We saw this with Voyager when Kanan, you know, killed Voyager. It's not gonna end well for you, bro. Let's end this, Wilhelm. Oh? Are you going to use yourself as a shield to protect her? See, it's like Wilhelm's entirely unconcerned with the fact that he currently has an arm through his chest and he's missing one hand. Kevin! We've been rejected by this world and by them. Humans. Mere humans are rejecting me? Impossible. It is unthinkable. I never really explained what Wilhelm is. <laughs> They don't understand how precarious this universe is. This frail world standing on a thin thread. If that balance is tipped, everything will be lost. God, I wish this series had gotten more games. It deserved it. We're the ones who don't understand. I mean, the story is convoluted as hell, but man, I would have... The way this game ends, it sets up another one, and I hate that we're never gonna get it. They are trying to walk their own path under their own power. They're saying they will walk across that thread with full knowledge of what it means. They'll never be able to do that. Really. I think it's possible. Yay, Chaos! <laughs> See? Chaos? Chaos can absolutely stand. <laughs> Yeshua, I didn't expect to hear you say something like that. This world is more flexible than you think. Even as we speak, ripples are spreading throughout the entire universe. Are you saying you're going to release your power? You're a failsafe implanted in this universe. He's literally the... I... <laughs> chaos... I think I've explained in another video, but Chaos's power is the power of... I think his is the power of Anima. Yeah, his is the power of Anima, and Mary Magdalene slash Cosmos is the power of Animus. Animus was used to bind Anima thousands of years ago, so Chaos and his power would not destroy the entire universe. Now Wilhelm is trying to use the power that Mary... Chaos's power that Mary sealed away to reset the entire timeline of the universe back to like the Big Bang or whatever. And then let it go through again, and then restart it again. And then let it go through again, and then restart it again. And da 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 and the world and the, world and the universe will never go past this point. That's what Wilhelm's trying to do. This game does not explain itself very well as much as I love it. <laughs> If you release your power, there will be more to worry about than just ripples. And besides, it's too late now to suppress their wills. If it was only me, that's true. But I'm not by myself. I see. Are you saying you've come here to challenge your own fate? That's a fascinating decision. But unfortunately, it looks like you're a little late. Able. <laughs> Poor God, baby. <laughs> what's happening? Some bullshit's what's happening. Oh, hey, it's Asher. No, poor Asher. Abel's going nuts, so and destroying all of the S's. Gone out of control. If it continues like this. The universe will eventually dissipate and vanish. Stop it. Stop the system now. If I should stop it, then what? What will you do with this tremendous energy? With these countless wills that reject each other that have nowhere to go? Oh, poor Dinah. <laughs> Are you implying that you know how to heal them? 20 minutes of cutscene. <laughs> return to the beginning. Come, Mary. Help us guide them into the past. There is no other way for us to save this world. Uh, you already broke Zarathustra. Uh, <laughs> what do you think you're doing now? I refuse 
to continue to let you do as you please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How foolish of you. Kevin, don't you know that your body will perish from this world if you continue to do that? I won't be the only one. You will perish as well, Wilhelm. So, you do this with full knowledge. No, Kevin! <laughs> well! Shion! I'm suppressing the system's energy! Hurry! You must destroy Zarathustra! But Kevin, you... Don't worry about me. Concentrate on the system. Okay. <laughs> this won't mean anything if you don't stop it. Shion. It's true, he's right. The future isn't set in stone. With the power of your wills, you can shape it into the future you desire. <sighs> Sometimes the way that this game is written just makes me smile. <laughs> the overusage of the word will. So yeah, the final boss is the amalgamation of all of the ESs. You can see like little bits of Dinah, a little bit of Asher. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. And by fun I mean <sighs> Erdy Kaiser Sigma time! <laughs> How many Urdays is it gonna take? I don't know. Is one Erde Kaiser? Two Erde Kaiser? Five, they <laughs> final boss, what final boss? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I broke the final boss already. <laughs> oh wow, it actually might take a good few. But uh... I have a lot of boosts. <laughs> okay, I believe this will be the last one. Because when you break something, they take more damage anyway. So that'll be one, two, three, four. Four Urde Kaisers. Four Erde Kaisers to defeat the final boss. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> I can't remember if it's a two stage fight or not. It might be a two stage fight. Something tells me it's a two stage fight. It wouldn't surprise me. I can't remember though. <laughs> Do you understand what you're doing, Yeshua? Abel's controlled by the system and I'm the operator. If I should somehow suddenly vanish, this world and the universe will... You may be right, but I... I want to believe in the light of human beings' will. Okay. <laughs> Very well, then. Chaos isn't human either, because Is of course not. Is that your answer? Uh-oh. That does sound like you, Yeshua. Bye, Wilhelm. Time for Kevin to die! Broken necklace. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, he's right there. You can just go talk to him, bruh. Kevin. Perhaps I wanted this from the very beginning. Since the day when I first met you, I may have been waiting for this day to come. I'm sorry, Shio. It's just that I... You don't have to tell me. I understand. I know that you placed everything inside here. Shion. 
Okay. <laughs> They're the precious memories you and I blossomed with our love. Thank you, Kevin. Because of you, I have... I've been able to make it this far. Because of you. Do we really have the time for this? I'll keep going. That's right. You'll be fine now. <laughs> Anime I'm glad voice acting. <laughs> was able to see you smile again. Hang in there. The world is waiting for you. The the thing with anime voice acting and random like sounds just eh, oh, eh. <laughs> makes me giggle. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kevin. Kevin did. Farewell. I still don't really understand how Will, uh, how Kevin was able to kill Wilhelm. Sort of. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, yep, yeah, that that tracks. <laughs> What's going on? The system is still out of control. Of course it is. Damn it! Isn't there any way to somehow stop it? Don't worry. Don't worry. Bruh. Abel found a friend. <laughs> so, that is your wish? The song of Nephilim, the only thing that heals and soothes Abel. And causes Reallians to go nuts. I don't know if they ever really explained why it does that. <laughs> This game leaves so many things unexplained, but I love it anyway. <laughs> Come play with us forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so it's decided? Yes. <gasps> this phenomenon is being caused by the wills. The Gnosis gathered in Zarathustra, with nowhere to go. Together with Abel, I will gather all those wills into me, and dimensionally shift this entire region of space to the land of origin. Lost Jerusalem. The land of origin? Lost Jerusalem. A planet once called Earth. Earth? Our homeland? Yep. We cannot stop the universe's accelerating dissipation. The true destruction of the universe. But the potential brought by the light of your will is unlimited. You know, the thing that you just said, um, contradicts the thing that you said in the last sentence, bruh. <laughs> if you, if mankind, has enough time to build upon your feelings, then perhaps... And you will provide us with that time? Yes. I, Abel, and... Chaos! <laughs> and Cosmos. Shion, you're not the one who guided this universe to destruction. Chaos dead! <laughs> Ever since the moment I've existed, my power of anima has caused the universe to tread the path toward destruction. Your power of anima? To prevent the destruction of the universe. And to save me. Now they're finally explaining shit. <laughs> sort of. Lord separated the power of Anima into the vessels and sealed them, costing her life. Sealed by her, I lost my power and became a spectator. All this time, I didn't know what the meaning Anima, this power, held, or why I had this power. But now I finally know what it means for me to use this power. You taught me that. Chaos. Everyone, this region of space will soon undergo a dimensional shift. You yeah, should probably go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the power left to help you escape. I want you to get away somehow before this region is destroyed. But what about you? Everything follows the flow. Don't worry. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Except you won't. 
Because we never got the next game. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos. What's going to happen to this universe? Don't worry. When we disappear, the speed of this universe's destruction will slow down. But we can't stop the destruction itself. You know, I can't help but think. At best, this universe will last another few tens of thousands of years before it perishes. Oh, just a few tens of thousands of years, huh? <laughs> Listen to me, Shion. The key to saving all lies in the land of origin, lost Jerusalem. I and the Gnosis, the wills of countless people, will all return there. For mankind to survive, you must do what must be done in this universe. And what is that chaos? <laughs> and then come find lost Jerusalem. Shion, I know you and the others can do that. See, now like decade, a decade or so after the last time I played this game, I'm now really mad we didn't get another one. Because <laughs> this game sets up that there's gonna be another one. And then we just didn't fucking get another one. <laughs> also, again, oh, another couple 10,000 years, huh? <laughs> Here you are. After all this time, I finally found the real you. And now... We are going to be apart again. The time we'll spend apart will be an instant. Sorry, dumbass rabbits. Of universal time. I know. We'll meet again. So please don't be sad, Xi'an. <laughs> That's unusually vague, coming from you, Cosmos. I think it is the most natural thing for me to say. That too is because of you. She or it's because of the fact that you're now finally a full person. <laughs> Thank you. No. Thank you for everything. You've given me so much. Cosmos. I'll see you soon. No, you won't. Soon. No, you won't. Again, you guys don't have time for this. <laughs> the gnosis are converging on this place, and pretty soon the entire place is gonna phase into another dimension. You should probably go. <laughs> Because Asher is the only one of the ESs that can still be piloted because it has an Erde Kaiser thing in it. Remember? And that was the reason why they left it in. Like the plot reason why they left it in. So it could be used right here to get them the fuck out. Let's begin. <laughs> Cosmos, release my power now. That's gonna end poorly. Very well. Yes, you are. Can't you, like, wait until you're sure they're out of here first? <laughs> like, make sure they're out of the building. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus power activate! <laughs> And the Mary Power is going into Nephilim instead. Okay. Wandering wills. Come to the cradle within me. Hi, 
I said yet that I love this game? Okay. I love this game. <laughs> it has the densest storyline I have ever seen in a game, but man, do I love it. Again, like, reasons why you should have fucking waited and made sure that everybody was out first. But no, they activate the thing immediately. What's going on? The Gnosis are... Nephilim's probably gathering them. No, they're behaving very strangely. Little of column A, little of column B. What? The Gnosis are objecting. They are refusing to join as one. No, they're afraid. No. How the hell do you know that, Momo? Go back. They're in serious danger. No, we can't. Have you forgotten about the duty that they have entrusted us with? They stayed behind for us. Chien. Xion, let's go. We have things we need to do. Isn't that right? Come on. <laughs> Again, they should have fucking waited. But they couldn't wait. It's impossible for me to guide all the wills. More time is needed to complete the dimensional shift. Cosmos, please protect this place until then. Understood. But I mean, you got- you had to have something go wrong because, uh, something else has to happen. And by that, I mean we don't have enough right. dead characters the yet. Elsa's not too far from there! Jin! Hey, Jin! I'm afraid that Chaos and Cosmos won't be able to handle that many Gnosis by themselves. If I go in Asher, I'll be able to help them out a little. No, Jin! You can't go alone! We're going to go with you! Xion, you know that you already have other things that you must do. What are you saying? I don't want you to go, Jin! I need you! I can't do anything alone! Also, I screwed up. They're not actually half siblings. It, to what it was just said. a really weirly phrased sentence a couple, like You're a couple alone. episodes ago. By the way, you have all these wonderful friends. Xion, I know that I was never a very good brother. Honestly, he really wasn't a bad one from what we've seen. I did nothing but cause you pain most of the time. I always regretted not spending more time with you. So please, let me be your brother one last time. Bye, Jen. I don't believe it. How can you say that? It's not fair of you to say something like that to me now. Also, I'm the one who was wrong. This is not you. this is touching and all, but you don't have time for this. <laughs> you thought about me. I knew that you did. I was the one who couldn't admit my real feelings. Fair. I was embarrassed or uncomfortable or something, and so I'm the one who pushed you away. I'm the one who caused you so much pain, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for it, Jim. Forgive me. Please forgive me. What are you apologizing for? You're a wonderful sister, and you always have been. You've experienced nothing but suffering your whole life. So you have every right to be as happy as you possibly can be. Oh, Jim. Alan, my friend. She's a troublesome girl, but please take care of her. Yes, Jin. Thanks. Remember what Chaos said. He said that we'd all meet again. 
And besides, not in this life. As a scholar, I have some interest in this land. Really, Jin? This special <laughs> land called Lost Jerusalem. Jin. And now, I bid you all farewell. See you soon. Bye, Jin. This is gonna end well. <laughs> Again, you guys need to go. <laughs> but no, the power of plot demands they have enough time for this. <laughs> Even though they do not have enough time for this. Jin, I know I never said it, but I was happy. In my heart, I was so happy to be your sister. Never fucking so, showed that. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Jin. Of course, I'm actually terrified. <laughs> yeah. But I know in my heart this is what I must do. Well, Asher, we've got one final job to do. Let's go. Because Jin knows he's gonna die if he does that. Because theoretically, the others could, you know, survive through their wibbly wobbly timey wimey, not actually humans ness ness. Jin? Jin's a fucking human. He did. All regions of space are disappearing. Communication with each region is gone. Unable to determine cause. Well, what did you say? Looks like they got power back to the Dameron. Incredible speed. At this rate, it'll be less than ten minutes before every single column is gone. Togashi. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on over there? Yeah, by every single column they mean the UMN, the thing that they use for faster than light travel. Don't you know you're supposed to accept people's kindness? <laughs> what the fuck, Junior? Um, they won't be able to use FTL travel anymore, is what they're saying. Yes, I can keep going. Yeah, you guys should probably get the fuck out. The Elsa is just ahead. Hang in there, everyone. See <laughs> Get him, Alan! Get him! <laughs> uh, you're not supposed to touch Gnosis, Remmer, bro. <laughs> Everybody is like, the fuck? <laughs> you all right? Alan needed one more badass moment. He's even holding the gun like a badass. Good. Let's go. Now do you guys see why I've spent the last three games saying how much of a badass Alan is? <laughs> oh dear. It's a whale! Sup? Jin. Jin only has one arm. We will handle this. Do not worry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jin. Master, it's good to see you're still alive. Captain, emergency takeoff! We're getting out of here now! Roger that. Uh, wait a minute, what about Chaos and the others? They dead, yo! Well, not yet, but they will be soon. It's alright, don't worry about them. They have things they have to do, and so do we. Now let's go! I well. see. <laughs> That's just like Caution, I'm a boozer. <laughs> All right, Tony, full speed ahead. Okay, here we go. Fucking Joshua taking off one of Asher's arms, making this shit harder on Jen. Poor guy. Stabby stabby! Cosmos! Uh oh. Bro. <laughs> oh, he's blowing up Asher. Okay.
He survives that! <laughs> he survives that! Well. science works. <laughs> An injury like that would- he would be very dead. <laughs> he would at least be passed out from shock. Okay, now he's very dead. <laughs> like, bro dead. It's okay. I'm alright. Keep going. Hurry! Dante, you are not, Jin. <laughs> Kept out right over by the power of machismo alone. <laughs> Bye, Jen. It's quiet now. I don't think it's ever been this quiet before in my whole life. <laughs> this is what I sought. And yet. Now that the time has finally come, I long for the noise of the past. I long for those hectic and chaotic days that once were. But this too is pleasant in an odd sort of way. Bro, you got stabbed twice in the chest. I don't yes. I don't recall that pleasant. <laughs> And he got stabbed in the leg. For me to move on. Shian. Bye, Jen. Jin. Chaos. Right. Any time, Nephilim. Jin, it's time. Nope, he dead, yo! <laughs> Again, Chaos, why would you think he was fine? You saw him get stabbed. He's a normal human. You are not. Jin. Thank you, Jin. Also, I still don't entirely understand why the Mary Magdalene power, Animus power, had to go into Nephilim. I mean, I know plot-wise, it's because they needed to have Cosmos no, running around murder and leading everything. Um, to protect them, but functionally it doesn't make sense. Cosmos. Cosmos gonna get eaten by a cathedral ship. Shia. Thank you. I know that I failed to protect you back then. But this time... I will. Booby power. I'm leaving the rest to you now. Xi'an. I think that's the first time in the entire series that Chaos has actually yelled. <laughs> Doesn't sound like him. It's fucking chaos. that gather under my cradle, the time has come. We go to where everything began. To the land of origin. Now! Go on to Earth! It's a naked Nephilim. <laughs> naked adult Nephilim. <laughs> what? 
what even. <laughs> What even? <laughs> what even? <laughs> what even? What even is this game? <sighs> Bye, Jen. I mean, I guess th I guess that's supposed to imply they yeeted um, Jen's body with them. Hurry, or we'll get caught. How are we supposed to hurry? There's not a single column left. There's no way we'll make it with normal flight. Stop whining and just floor it! The logical drive's maxed out! This is all she's got! <sighs> Damn it. I guess we'll just have to use that then. What? <laughs> we still have things that we need Let to Let me guess, do. they shoved Erde Kaiser into the, the engine. They entrusted <laughs> to us is... So, 60 seconds to effective column pulse range. All of those Federation guys are dead. All of the Federation is dead. All of Utik is dead. All of Ormus is dead. They're all fucking dead. <laughs> Little master, have you ever listened to Wagner? This ship is a Lohengrin class passenger freighter. Its form is like the Night of the Swan. Tony! Of course they Of course they pulled something out of their ass at the eleventh hour. <laughs> like I said, they shoved fucking uh I'm just gonna say that they shoved an Erde Kaiser into the engine, seeing as the professor and Scott sent tend to shove Erde Kaisers into everything. I seriously doubt yelling Tony's name's gonna help, bro. <laughs> okay, the wings out the side of the Elsa look kinda dumb, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and everybody passed the fuck out. <laughs> for an hour and like all of that is cutscenes. <sighs> Zero G everyone! Hi guys! <laughs> Where are... Where are we? There is no EPR radar and no data from the UMN. I'm unable to determine our position. Are we in the far reaches of the universe? Oh. <laughs> What's that? A transmission? No way. There's no UMN, so how can there be a transmission? Talk about obsolete communication methods. This is an electromagnetic type transmission. Can we respond? Yes, I'll give it a try. It's Miyuki! Of all the places in the universe for them to have landed, they landed near the Damarong. <laughs> Me 
Miyuki. Oh shit! Yeah, they happen to land near the damn rung. I mean, it's all but stated that chaos, chaos and his power put them next to the damn rung. But. The damn -rung. Honestly. Don't you dare. That girl. I swear to God, she cannot stop herself from getting one last dig at Miyuki. Rude. You're going already. The only clue we have is the fragmented information left in the Y data. And with the loss of the UMN, you won't be able to use any transfer flight methods. All you'll have at your disposal is normal flight. I'm afraid it's going to be a little different. Yes. I know I made a promise to Chaos. I know that somehow I'll reach Lost Jerusalem. Xion, I... May I? I want to go with you, Xion. <sighs> Thank you so much. Momo. But you know, you already have something to do here. You'll be working with Skientia to construct a brand new network. Make sure you do your very best. Okay. Albie. I will. Shion. This is bullshit. They're splitting Shion. up Junior and Momo, Momo after yeah. all of this shit. Momo? We'll be gone for a little while. So take care of this place. Okay. Um. What is it? Will you be sure to say hello to Albedo for me? Yeah. I'll pass him a message <laughs> when he wakes up. But he's pretty lazy, so I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> also, why would you want to say hello to Albedo? Like last time, you guys had a lot of convert, like a lot of interaction with each other. He See? tortured you. <laughs> Take care of Momo and Yuli for us, okay? Yes, of course. Don't worry. Concentrate on your mission. How dare you split up Junior and we'll Momo game. <laughs> Until then. Especially because we never got another game after this. So, I know what they were trying to imply, because I think they were planning to have a game after this, but they never, it never happened was, um, I'm assuming that at some point during the game, while they're trying to find Lost Jerusalem on the Elsa, Momo would, and Scantia would have reconstructed enough of the faster than light travel stuff to be able to contact them again. That's the- I'll keep waiting until you finally come back. That's the Good only luck. way this makes sense See to me. Because... The implication is that it's going to take thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of years, whatever, to find Lost Jerusalem. So if there had been another game, there would have been some... There, there would, something would have happened that would have reunited them, because I don't see them separating Junior, specifically Junior and Momo, the way that they did otherwise. Because they did plan to have a game after this. Liter Seriously? You're watching porn on your station, Tony? Really? Bro. <laughs> At least Mary and Shelly went with them. Oh shit, they found Helmer! <laughs> I never noticed that in the ending cutscene. Good, Helmer survived. Wait a minute. How could they contact Helmer? If they could only get messages via electromagnetic pulse trans transmission. Now I think I understand what Wilhelm wanted to do. Just a little bit better. His methods may have been wrong but now i think i understand the logic behind his reasons that's dangerous living the same life over and over again but living those lives without any regrets is what really matters that's probably what the ideal vision of being human is all about 
I think that's the first time Bunny's been in an FMV. We humans are really not that strong. And we know that we can't live like that. We're creatures that are much more flawed, weak, and smaller than that. We hurt others. We lie to ourselves. We hate. We blame others. We regret. But Ziggy! even if we are weak, and even if it does our up. fate to disappear entirely, I think the will to change the future is still an important one. We must try to change the things around us, little by Alan little. Alan finally got his girl. <laughs> is one step at a time, and even if everything is already predetermined. It's not something for us to be sad about. No. On the contrary. The future is overflowing with hope. And we have infinite paths to choose from. Instead of the one recurring eternally that Wilhelm Isn't was trying that to right? do. Chaos. Cosmos. Well, about that. Credits? Credits? I know there's one more thing we have to see before credits, I think. Oh, no, is it after credits? Okay, cool. So yeah, credits, you guys. Damn. <laughs> Last credits we're gonna have for Xenosaga. <laughs> well then. Bridget Hoffman, best Cosmos. Nothing against the person who voice acted Cosmos in Xenosaga 2. They were fine. They just weren't good. Compared to Bridget Hoffman, who is the voice actor for Cosmos and Telos in 1 and 3. I don't think... I think they used an entirely different voice cast for the anime. I can't remember, actually. But... And that's it. The series ends... On a massive fucking cliffhanger. Hey, look, it's Cosmos! Yeah, she did. Yeah, she hella dead. I mean, she ain't gonna stay dead. I mean, it's not, it's implied she wouldn't stay dead, but. Both you and I still exist in this world, after all. Sort of. I mean. As long as people, as long as the universe desires it, we will continue to exist. We haven't finished what we need to do yet. So. Until then, sleep well, Cosmos. Good night. And we'll never stop being mad about that. The entire series ends on a fucking cliffhanger. Not only did the entire series get truncated, um less games than they planned so they squit but they wanted to tell the same at least as much of the story as they could so they squished it but then they left us on this fucking cliffhanger <laughs> like Jin, alan cosmo or cosmos shion mary shelley um tony the professor scott uh caution my boozer um hammer all of them are on the Elsa going to find Earth. Cosmos, or at least it's in, even though she's floating in space there, it's implied that she's, you know, floating near Earth or is going to be landing on Earth. I think that's the implication. Um, Nephilim, Abel, and Chaos, and all of the Gnosis souls are on Earth, or at least near Earth, because that's Lost Jerusalem. Momo and Ziggy and Miyuki and Togashi and Yuli and all of them are on the Dameron, trying to figure out how to reinstate the faster than light travel system because that's completely gone so they can't do any faster than light travel now um and they split everybody up and then said well we got stuff to do see you next time and then nothing <laughs> i will never not be mad <laughs> that this game never got a sequel 
yes, this story is convoluted, and honestly, it may have done better if they'd just tried to go with the original plan, because one thing that hamstring this game so much is the fact that they tried to stuff the entire what originally was supposed to be Zeno Saga 3-ish, with the whole Lemmageton incident and no terrorism incident. They tried to shove that into database entries and flashbacks in this game, which for people who played 1 and 2, even though 2 was the weak point in the series, would have had a really, really hard time <laughs> jumping from 2 to 3 with all of that story. Because, again, I said at the beginning of the Let's Play, um, when you start Zeno Saga 3, you're like, what? Shion doesn't work for Vector? Shion's hacking into Vector? What? What's going on? And this is the best game out of all three of them, too. So it ended on such a high note. This game's good! <laughs> Uh, as much as I rag on Shion constantly because she is so infuriating for 90% of this game. She finally gets her head out of the ass in the end of it, but I will never not be mad that this game never got a sequel. And now it's going to be even harder for people to play it because I don't think any of these games are on the virtual console for PS2 or PS3 or PS4. And they're, they're rare. One and two less so. It's easier to find copies of one or two for like 30, 40 bucks, depending. Three though? This one? Yeah, it's 120 bucks used! Without the case! My discs are worth 120 bucks. What the fuck? Now I'm just ranting to try and get through like the cutscene to get through the damn game. Or to get through all of this. Now I'm just I'm just bitching at this point. I'm I love this game. This is one of my this is one of my favorite games. Um, it's not... My favorite game is and always will be a cross between Lunar Silver Star Story and Final Fantasy IX because I have too much nostalgia for those. But this is definitely like almost on par with those. It's up there. Um, and I'm so sad. Hey, bye, Cosmos. Everybody say, everybody say bye to Cosmos. Because we'll never fucking see her again. Except in Soul Calibur. No, I'm serious. <laughs> the PlayStation 2 version of Soul Calibur 3, I think, has Cosmos's Xenosaga Episode 1, I think, outfit as unlockable pizzas and parts that you can equip on your pre-make, on your, um, uh, created characters. So you can make <laughs> Cosmos and Soul Calibur 3, in case you have that game or have access to that game and you didn't know already. I think it was 3. I think it was Soul Calibur 3. It was because I only ever really played one Soul Calibur game to death, and it was the one that had Cosmos in it. Pretty sure it's three. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. <sighs> Save the game? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> there we go, you guys. And that's all of them. Xenosaga 1. Xenosaga 2. Xenosaga 3. I do have Xenogears now, and eventually I will let's play that one, because I've never actually played nor seen Xenogears. So I will be going into Xenogears, funnily enough, even though I love this game so much, I just never had the chance to play Xenogears before. I'll be playing Xenogears entirely blind. I have seen, like, some images and stuff from it, so, and I know that there's different characters in Xenogears that directly inspired specific characters in Xenosaga, like Nephilim and Abel and some of the others. <sighs> Still mad that this game doesn't have a sequel. Hashtag give me Xenosaga episode 4, goddammit. Okay. Anyway, I've been recording for an hour and ten minutes. I need to go to bed. My name is Miss Girl the Tanager, and I've been playing some Xenosaga episode 3. I'll see you all in another Let's Play. <laughs>